Hello and welcome to imabiker.com and today we're going to check out the BTS3. Too late, bitch. <laughs> Hello and welcome to imabiker.com and today we're going to check out the BTS3. Dude, what a bad throw, dude. <laughs> Take one. Hello and welcome to. <laughs> Hello and welcome to imabiker.com where we do product reviews in between blooper videos and today we have the BTS3. Wait, throw past down here. <laughs> <laughs> Once more. Hello and welcome to imabiker.com where in between blooper videos we're going to do actual product reviews and today it's chance of the BTS3 and here it is let's see what it's got. So here's the box, it says it's got FM radio, rider to pillion, intercom, rider to rider, intercom up to 800 to 1000 meters, well it, at least we get 500 meters, that should be good enough and fits on almost any helmet for motorcyclists and skiers. So let's see what's inside the box. Nice, looks good, this is the device, it's a bit dusty. There we go. Looks a lot like the Senna version, a much, much costlier Senna version. Okay, let's see what else is in the box. It's the clip and the wire for the mics. Okay, this is the speaker and the mic that goes in your helmet. User manual, BTS3, a uh, lot of languages. And the cable for charging it. Okay, now let's plug it on to the helmet and uh, see if it does all the things it says so before we plug it into the helmet uh, or on the helmet let's take a closer look at this device well the plastic feels not too bad it's it's you know for the price yeah fair enough so here is the call answer button the power button the volume up uh, volume down of course this is the common port for the uh, headphones the microphone and the charging port and this right here is the cable input uh, you can use it to connect it as intercom to the pillion so you know you need, don't need a separate device for that so overall plastic looks good they say it's waterproof uh, obviously we would not be testing that but let's go let's plug it into the helmet here we go so we're going to try to fix it on this sole helmet and uh, i'm going to have to remove all of this so Luckily, the Sol helmets already have a pocket for the speakers, so I don't have to stick them. So these are the speakers. Uh, this goes either side on, on inside the helmet. It can be attached via this Velcro strip. This is a sticker which can be stuck and uh, these go together. But luckily uh, for the Sol helmet we have over here, uh, these go in, you know, it has a pouch for the speaker so I can just plonk them in. That's a bit tight, I'll figure it out. Also the microphone as well can be stuck in a similar way. It's got a Velcro sticker, you know, you can stick this onto the helmet and this goes on. Obviously this is flexible so you can mount it in any direction on any angle you want it. So I plonked in the speakers into the small uh, pouches available on the padding. So now I'll uh, plug this onto the helmet. So we have the speakers here and up here and this is the wire that comes out, uh, rooted it from behind the uh, padding for both the speakers to get connected and this is the main wire which comes out and we'll now connect the device onto the helmet. So there are two ways to connect the device onto the helmet, uh, one is again with this clip oops, and uh, the velcro, so you know you stick this part onto the helmet and you will just stick it on like this so that's one and the other is obviously the clip part uh, we have two screws here so you again you push this part inside of the helmet and you know just tighten up the screws so i'll just uh, i'll be using this one for this demo
so here it is uh, got it fixed got it screwed oh yeah the latch and now we'll fix in this device so guys i fixed the device onto the helmet uh, and now i'll connect the wire the wire that connects the microphones and the speakers so it's a nice direct fit in here and that's it so this wire is always going to be dangling so there's no uh, alternative option but depending on your helmet model it should be the long enough or there should be another way to squeeze it in but i would suggest not to keep it close to this because you know if, if you're taking the wire through this cutting you know there's a chance that it might get cut due to this you know thick plastic over here so just watch it when you keep it uh, places don't make sure no sharp objects close by So guys, we've been using this uh, for the past couple of days. We took it out for a couple of rides. I'm happy to report that, you know, it, it's pretty good. Uh, the audio quality is good. It's not Senna good, but especially for playing music or something, it's pretty decent. For the intercom, uh, I got a range of about 400, 500 meters easily. Uh, I have a BTS2, the older version, it connects to that as well. And uh, from what I know is that it connects to the Senna models as well. On the Senna models, you need to choose the universal intercom mode. Coming to battery life, uh, like I told you, it's about four to five hours. We never ran out of it because we did just short rides and the connectivity was good. And uh, I, I think the one major thing I liked about it is that I can answer calls now. I don't need to plonk my phone and swipe up and just tap on it to answer calls. So that's one great advantage. Intercom, I felt that the audio quality could have been better it still feels that you're talking uh, maybe you know something like a little bit of echo is there but uh, obviously you cannot compare to a Senna if that's a very high spec version but definitely this is good and usable and uh, also during our short ride we did come into a little bit of rain and you know it's still working so that's a good thing the plastic quality like I told you it could have been better and it definitely looks better than the previous version but overall it definitely looks very good in fact actually but plastic quality yeah could have been a lot better so guys that's what we think about the alpha wise bts3 it's a good product considering the the money it's on offer for and uh, can you compare it to a senna well no uh, senna is definitely more robustly built and will of course last a lot longer and uses better plastics as well but at this price point i don't think you can find anything better so i'll link to uh, the product in the description below and you know on the amazon gear best and you know whatever sites available at and uh, please do check it out and uh, let me know what you think about the product in the comments below and of course, please do subscribe. Well, it's a good product for the money, you know, that's... It's good value for the money that's on offer. Oh.